what's going on? So I wanted to do a video because I've been getting a ton of questions. People have been messaging me, calling me, emailing me, etc., about a specific topic. And it's been going on for years and there's a major problem which I want to address. And this problem is getting worse and worse and worse. And so I want to talk about a specific term which most people don't really talk about, but it's called allostatic load. An allostatic load is basically the sum total of the stress that's being put on your body. So there's acute stress, and this acute stress would be like the, the extreme um, scare where your body had to run away from like a tiger, let's say, right? Like back in the day, we would, a bear would come in, we were like chopping wood, and a bear came into our territory, and we were in acute stress. As soon as the bear left, we recovered, the stress was away, and we felt better. But now, today, we're in chronic stress, meaning that we are chronically being exposed to toxins, to stressors, jobs, traffic, coffee, um, all these things. And, and the reason why I say coffee is because coffee stimulates your sympathetic nervous system. It puts you in a fight or flight mode. So if you, your body wants to recover and you start to get tired and then you consume more caffeine, you go right back into that fight or flight mode when you should be in recovery mode. So. The sum total of all of these stressors is what's called allostatic load. Now, chronic stress can probably be contributed, and this has been studied, to about 80% of sickness. So most sickness that we're dealing with today is from this chronic stress. Toxic exposures, parasite, electromagnetic frequencies, etc. And so if we want to be healthy in 2018, because this problem is only going to get worse and worse and worse, so 2018, into the future, this video is extremely important because I'm going to tell you how to reduce your allostatic load. And if I was really going to go into detail in it, it would probably be an hour-long video. There's way more to this than what I'm putting here, but I wanted to capture the major components so that you can instantly reduce your allostatic load and that you can recover, feel better, and heal. Now, I speak to a lot of people all the time. One of the things that I've spoken about is Wi-Fi. If you are sick and you're exposed to one gauze, that's one that's like barely any electromagnetic frequency, your house can do that through just the electricity that's given through the outlet, you will not recover from that sickness. Now, I spoke to an expert last week and he was telling me that when he comes in, he checks these houses and I can give you the reference if you guys want. If you're interested, go ahead and comment. But you can, you can get your house checked. He says one out of five houses are wired improperly and that creates a massive problem electromagnetically. And everything, every time he clears up that issue, insomnia disappears 100%. People start to heal. So this is the power of just one thing. We're talking about electromagnetic frequency. Now, imagine you're drinking all the time your chronic stress from work, then you come home, you can't sleep, you can't go into a deep REM sleep because the electromagnetic frequency is too high, um, you're eating processed foods, all these things stack up and then eventually dis-ease comes out. Now, what do we do when we go to the doctor because we have a dis-ease? They give us medication which masks the problem. So let's focus on the root cause of the problem and let's go to the root cause so you can actually heal and you don't have to be subjected to more poisonous medication because the first thing that I'm going over today is number one, you cannot get better if you don't limit your toxic exposure. So that's number one, limiting your toxic exposure. So what does that mean? Well, limiting the Wi-Fi radiation, right? So shutting down your Wi-Fi at night, don't be exposed if you need to, you can wear of Wi-Fi protecting clothes, you can go to lessemf.com and you can get a ton of gadgets. You can check how, you're, how much Wi-Fi you're being exposed to. You can wear clothing that protects you. Um, now, if you want to get a professional, I can put links below. There's links, there's professionals all over the country, unfortunately not around where we are. They're mostly in New York, California, and Florida, some in Chicago, but you can still have them come and check out your stuff for you know, probably around a thousand dollars. So it's a little bit more expensive. So that's one thing. So processed foods, 
Processed foods are loaded with toxins. Alcohol is, is, is a toxin. And when we get to the end here, we're going to talk about increasing your frequency. And this is a term that people don't really resonate with or sometimes they have a hard time resonating with it. But every single thing, and when I get to this, this has been studied for century, a century, right? So if we talk about Nikola Tesla, he said, think in terms of frequency. Well, every organ vibrates on a frequency, right? Every thought vibrates on a frequency. And so everything you consume either raises your frequency or lowers it. Alcohol, we know, is a depressant. It lowers your frequency. It's also a toxin. When you consume alcohol, when you put it into your body, when it's metabolized, it creates a toxin. So now your liver has to process that toxin on top of all the other toxins. Most people don't think about it, but the clothing you wear right now are, are absorbing toxins into your body. The actual tag on the clothing has PCBs in it, so you're getting more toxins. And so when we're talking about allostatic load today versus a century ago, it's totally different. So let me tell you a quick story. So my mother was probably not exposed to as many toxins when she was born, but guess what? She had amalgam fillings put in her mouth. My mother gave birth to me. Well, guess what? My mercury level is much higher from birth because my mother had mercury in her body. Mercury is a poison that's very toxic to the body. Growing up, I've got amalgam fillings put in my mouth. I got numerous vaccines. I was also a manager on a painting crew for a while. I worked construction through college and did painting. I was exposed to solvents, to chemicals. I also abused alcohol through my college years until I quit until I was about 22. Um, and then going on and on and on, being exposed to stress, toxins, molds, etc. Until one point, I took, I was also on poisonous medication as well. Then one point I took a powerful antibiotic, not knowing what it would do to me, but people have, lives have been destroyed by this, fluoroquinolones, the antibiotic was called Avalox, it wasn't even approved for the market. I took it, it literally laid me out and destroyed me. I had chronic fatigue, I almost died, my intestines was just totally screwed up, and so it's been a battle to get back. So my allostatic load reached a breaking point which almost took me out. Now what, what, what did the disease come from? They told me I had Crohn's disease, they told me I had a bunch of other stuff. Well, it took me 10 years or about 9 years of studying and figuring out how to heal on my own because I wasn't taught through the medical system. I was taught through a lot of other people who took the holistic route and I went to the root cause of the problem. I decided I would not take any medication that was given to me anymore, I knew what it did to me, it screwed me up previously, so I no longer would do it. And I was told I've had Crohn's disease for the rest of my life and I needed $18, $1,800 a month medication. And I said, no, I'm not going that route, and I healed myself on my own. And so the stuff that I'm telling you here today, I know from personal experience. And I also know from studying hours and hours and hours and learning from some of the best people in the world. So the first thing is limiting toxic exposure. So try to eat all fresh foods, no pesticides, um, and really fresh foods is the only way to go right now. Because if you're not eating fresh foods, unless it's fermented, you're going to get some um, toxins in there. There's going to be some dyes, there's going to be some mold in the food that will increase your allostatic load. Now number two. Number two is one of the things that most people don't even think about, but the, re the reason this is a huge major issue is because of the number three. Since we're being exposed to all these toxins, it's causing an issue, like we're drinking chlorinated water, it's, it's decreasing the strength of our microbiome, right, our gut flora. And so this allows viruses, bacteria, and parasites to proliferate in our body. So if we don't have a strong immune system, a strong microbiome, these parasitic infections will take over. And today, oh, it's, it's estimated that about 85% of Americans are dealing with parasites that are causing their health to decline. So what I recommend is a parasite cleanse, again, all naturally. And these natural supplements will actually enhance your health. So, 
One of the people I always recommend is Hulda Clark's Parasite Cleanse because I think it's the most thorough, it's natural, and she actually takes you on a step-by-step -step way on how to do it, and then she starts at the Parasite Cleanse, and then you can take all her other cleanses, which is extremely important because if your detox pathways are not open, most of the stuff that we talk about here will not work. If you try to detox and you don't take care of the initial phase first, you could end up in a worse position. You could mobilize the toxins that are in your body, but not excrete them out of your body, and then they'll get reabsorbed and sometime into a worse place. And I've dealt with that, so I know from firsthand experience. So detoxing and parasite cleanse, extremely important. Number three, improving your microbiome. All right, so your microbiome is your gut flora. It's where it, most of your immune system lies, right? Like 80% of your immune system. So a strong microflora will be extremely powerful for healing, but also for preventing diseases. It also helps to consume the toxins, right? So if we eat fermented foods and you have heavy metals in your gut, the fermented food will eat those heavy metals up. So fermented foods are huge. One of the best things you can do for yourself today, health-wise, is get tested at Viome.com. Right? You see my video with Naveen Jain, the creator of Viome? He created Viome to help humanity because he knew that the gut was the way to do it. He also does it through a glucose test. And those two things, you can tell how you should eat, what foods you should eat for improved gut microflora. But also taking fermented foods, and staying away from antibiotics. Now, doctors are still giving antibiotics like they're, they're candy. It has been announced that we need to reduce the intake of antibiotics for the rest of humanity to live because if we don't do this stuff, that um, these crazy bacteria will start to um, Basically, the, the bacteria will not be able to be killed off through antibiotics, and it will take over, which we're seeing in hospitals now that people are dying of these bacteria, and we have no way to combat them because they're mutating and becoming stronger than anything that we have to resist them. So it's dangerous to take too many antibiotics, and personally, I know that it can destroy your gut flora. Your gut flora is directly related to living a longer, healthier, happier life, bar none. So it regulates serotonin levels. If your gut flora is down, you're going to be de more depressed. Um, they've done a study on 90-year-olds who were living happy and healthy. What they found out is they had a microbiome of 30-year-olds. So this is how powerful this stuff is. Now, if you're drinking alcohol all the time, you know your microflora is not good. We know your gut flora is not good. Now, number four. Maximizing your mitochondria. Mitochondria are the energy packs inside the cells of your body. So we want to energize them, maximize them, and the first three things are going to help you do that. So now you can also do some stuff like biohacking, which will help improve it. So things that I recommend are the Wim Hof breathing. You might have seen me do a video with Wim Hof up in the top of the Pyrenees Mountains talking about what to do, but you can find tons of videos online speaking about that. Now, I've done Wim Hof breathing with hyperbaric oxygen chamber that helps mito maximize your uh, mitochondria. It helps to kill off bacteria and viruses, but also you can do red light therapy. For example, something called the Juve red light, um, something we have in our sauna, um, it's, it's medical grade chromiography, which is light like you get from the sun, which helps to maximize your mitochondria. Resveratrol is a supplement. It's taken from, um, for example, grapes and um, Chinese knotweed root. Um, you can condense it to a high form and take resveratrol. It helps maximize mitochondria. It also pre um, prevents insulin, your helps with your insulin response. Uh, magnesium. Everybody's depleted on core minerals, especially magnesium. Magnesium helps with enzyme activity, but it also helps the energy level and your mitochondria. And then again, detoxing, right? If your cells are poisoned, your mitochondria will not function well. So we need to detox the cell membrane, we need to detox the cell, and we need to open up the pathways into the cell because they're blocked a lot of times by these poisonous toxins, for example, mercury, 
and um, lead and aluminum, right? So if those toxins are in there, um, you will not have the changing of the nutrients we need throughout the cells, and this is where real disease begins. It begins on a cellular level. Now, number five, this is connected with frequency. People like laugh when you hear this, but this is not a joke. This is this has been studied. So, spend more time in nature. People say like, "Oh, yeah, um, you're a hippie, or go, you're a tree hugger, or whatever." No, this is proven. The frequency of nature is in tune and in harmony with our body's frequency. It's healing. If you're being exposed to toxins, you're being exposed to Wi-Fi. Well, think of the tree as a healing Wi-Fi, right? It literally is giving off good energy. And we've studies have shown that blood pressure is reduced instantly. Stress levels, cortisol levels, reduce instantly when you spend time in nature. So get more connected with the environment that we are used to being connected with. Right now, we're used to being connected with a poison and toxic environment, and it's getting more and more poisonous and toxic and toxic. Or use a PEMF machine. So for example, I have what's called an amp coil. Um, I've also used Hull to Clark's um, zapper machine, which helps with parasites, but it helps the frequency of your body. And most healers who are real healers who get to the root of the problem know this. And this is why Nikola Tesla, strangely enough, has been left from most of the history books, talked about this all the time. People are figuring out that you can be healed just through sound vibration and frequency generation that's in tune with healing. For example, killing cancer or killing a tumor or healing a, an organ with a certain frequency. Well, guess what? You can do that just through nature. Now, some people might be so far gone with a disease or an illness that nature won't do it and they need some other assistance with it. So that's the time when you would want to use PEMF, hyperbaric oxygen chamber, massive dose of antioxidants, but this is stuff that you want to take to a professional because you have to know how to do it properly if you do it too fast, too soon. It can also cause more allostatic load. So if you release too many toxins, you can have a bad reaction from it. So this is just the top five things. There's many things that encompass all these, but I wanted to get this out there because I thought it would help a lot of people who are currently dealing with not living at the best and most optimal. I speak with people all the time and everybody feels like they're kind of just like going through life, not feeling their best. Um, and this is a way to maximize it. It's an art. It's just like everything else. Exercise is something I didn't mention. We all know exercise. We all know eating healthy is, is key. But most of these things which I put up here can really impact your life. So if you have any comments or questions on these things, go ahead and leave it below. Um, this is going to be vital for your children, vital for your health to really live a happy, healthy, stronger, better life into the future because the load of toxins is getting greater, the exposure to Wi-Fi is getting greater, and you need to know what to do for your friends and your family to feel better so that you can spread the word, people will start to take action on these things, and everybody's frequency and vibration will be higher, and guess what, your raising of the frequency affects everyone around you. You can actually affect up to 720,000 people. We know this from the Maharishi effect, which was studied, where 10,000 Buddhist monks prayed, and the crime rate went down, accident rates went down, they thought it was a fluke, they redid the study, and the same thing they found. So the, the, the total earth, the crime rate went down. So your frequency, your energy that you're putting out there gets higher, by doing some of this stuff, right? Limiting your news exposure because that's lowering your frequency, We're talking about all the negative thing that's going on. Focus on the positive, focus on the solution. The solution is in here. Be solution focused, not problem focused. You will feel better, you'll get results, and you will impact all the people in your life around you. All right, so any comments, questions, go ahead and leave it below. Have a great day.